morning, good morning, welcome to Wednesday Sweat Fest. All you need today is one towel, a uh, good amount of grit, and a water bottle. We're going to start off with a basic squat for a warm up. It's going to be an inhale down, exhale up. As we warm up, I'm going to tell you about the goodies coming your way today. We have three sets or clumps of exercises, and there's three in each one. We're going to be working for time today. First lot of exercises, the first two are going to be 30 seconds each, and then the last one is going to be a 45 second. We're going to run through that three times. We're going to be our feet on our feet most of the time today with a little bit of plank and core work rolled in as well. Go ahead and take your right foot back. We're going to reach up and over. So you will need your mat handy. Come down into your plank work on the floor. We have a little bit of leg lift as well. Switch sides. We'll talk you through it as we get going. Uh, if high impact is not the best for your joints, I'm going to give you some different options as well. Go ahead, stretch back through the chest. Remember, you can always walk or march in place. Really like you just to keep moving after this next. 30 to 40 minutes, it's going to be 30 minutes of high intensity and then we're going to do 5 minute uh, specific core work and a little stretch at the end. Okay, just a little rotation here. And let's get ready to kick off. Okay, first up, we're going to have clap jacks. So, two options here. You could step, center, step, side or you could come in for your clap and jack. Next up, we're going to be doing a skater lunge, so the modification on that would be step and step. Gonna give you a little bit of single leg balance work there for the low impact. If you're doing the full skater lunge, if you can reach to the outside of your mat, or get something else to put in for a target, it's gonna hold you accountable, which I really like. Your third exercise here, I like to double up my mat for this one. It's going to be one hand down, one knee, and we're going to do a leg lift. We're going to be switching sides on that as well. Hip abductors, and you're going to get some work on your kneeling leg as well. Excellent. Okay, let's get ready to go. 30 seconds, remember? It's our jacks, here we go. up pretty quick. Keep your foot flexed. Switch sides. Flex the foot, hand on the waist. Lift low. Really looking for you to keep the same speed on the way up as on the way down. We're nearly through the first round of our first set. Five seconds. Feel that burn up, it's there. Three, two, one, up we go. Number two, clap jacks. You're doing it. Today's our day to be confident. Stand tall, work hard, and be strong. You 
own this workout. You got it. Skaters. Then we're going for distance today. Six foot to work out, or we can work with that. Plenty of space. Five, four, three, you got it. Two, one, yowzers, up we go. Here we go, final time through this little, little monster. Clap jacks, 30 seconds. Dig it in. Come on, five more. Four, three, two, yelters, one. Oh, we're getting that done. Okay, here we go, the other side. 45. Plyo jumps, football run, 
and side plank. So come on up. You can grab a drink of water while I'm just taking you through these next ones. So, plyo jump. Now, if you want the modification, you're going to lose the jump. Send your hips to the back, press through the heel, flat back, lift up tall. Remember our theme was confidence, stand tall, you're going to do it right there. If you want to amp things up a little higher, you're going to go for a plyo jump with me. Our next one is a football run, so modification would be knee up and a knee out. Up and then out. If you want to bring it up, you're going to have fast feet. Last one is going to be a plank wrap. So we're going to come down on your mat. You can have one knee down or both knees up. We're going to take the hand, we're going to give ourselves a wrap around the trunk, and then we're going to reach back up. So the full expression would be here. We're going to do 10 on each side. Okay, ready to go. Pliers. Getting it done. Should be starting to feel that sweat coming on. Switch sides. So between our first and our second group of exercise, you might notice that you're working a little bit longer. Your first little medley was 30 seconds, 45 in your side lifts. Your second ones were going 45 seconds on your high intensity, and we stretched out the time on your side lifts, letting you warm up a little bit on that first one. Track the hand, wrap it around, reach it up. Last one. Are you ready for this? Round two. Plyo jumps coming up. We're off. So let's talk a little bit about what confidence our theme is going to mean to us today. Trusting ourselves that we can complete this workout and we can do it with conviction, nice and strong. So I'm asking you to have confidence in your ability through this whole workout.
chest is lifted, the abdominals are tight, good feet. Keep it going. Remember, you can march those feet narrow and wide, steady the impact. Listen to your body. Keep that breath moving. Two more. Okay, can you give me a hold on this one? Good. Switch. Excellent. We are powering through this with confidence. Hand up. Rotate and reach. Strength and endurance, improving your cardiovascular fitness, that's heart and lungs. Here's the hold, good. Maybe you've got that knee down option for a modification. Keeps moving and down. Wow, two out of three. Plyo jumps. There it is. We're off. 45 seconds. If you want to get a little bit more, you need to take those jumps down a little lower. Think about pressing a spring down. Even breathe. We're going to bring that heart rate slightly. Four more. Eyes wide, the fingertips. Okay, gaze up, hold it here. You want to take it a little further, pick up your bottom leg. Reset, pick up your top leg. And switch, yes. And on that elbow, remember, knee down or knee up, you've got choices. Rotating side plank. Sit at the top, wrap around. 
feet could be against the wall. It could be a step back, plank, step in, reach to the roof. Just make sure you've got a nice stable object to lean against. That would be a level one modification. Level two, still reaching up, sitting down and set our plank. Make sure you've got a straight line before you come forwards. We're not going to jump, we're going to step you in. Get a nice position, get your back flat, chest up, drive through the legs, and then reach up. Now, if you want to take it a little further, you're going to go ahead, step or jump back. I like the step because it really lets me set my body line. Then it's a wide look forward, opening up through the hips, and powering up for a jump. We're going for one minute. Okay, here we go. Let's go with it. Get going with this now. One minute, and then we're going to be on to mountain climbers. Pick your form. Work at a pace that you can control good form. You've got 15 more seconds. That's it. Good. Next up, mountain climbers. Okay. Modification. Leaning against the wall. shin shoe or just the knee it's okay too still on the lower body shoulders shoulders pipe knee shin shoe knee shin shoe back we go
Pick your poison. One minute. Into the wall. A step or a jump. Let's go. that sweet fist caliber here. We got time for one more here. Let's sneak in the tank. Try not to move your lower body. Hold it still. Lift it up, pull. Knee, shin, toe. Knee, shin, toe. Bring it back. Hold. And very, very slowly walk it up. You got it. You know it. We got one round left. Here we go. We got our burpees. Reach up. Good control. Set your plank. Step or jump. Overhead reach or jump up. Much rather you go a little slower and have solid, good form then rush in this and get sloppy. Two more. One to go. Great. Let's shake it out. Woo! Oh yeah. Mountain climber. Let's do it. Then it feels good to work hard. Okay. Either the little tap or you're doing the full shebang.
damage through the pipe. Shoulder tap right here. Lift it up. Sit. And let's go ahead and hold that plank. Stand it cold. 10 seconds. Nice and still here. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. How about that? And just wrap that up. Come on up to standing. Take some water. Good time to get a drink. Wow, that feels good. So we're going to move on to finishing up with a little work, lengthening through the front side of the body and working on the back. So just a little bit of standing stretching before we come down onto the mat. Make sure we avoid getting lightheaded. You did great through those three sets. Good. Excellent. Step one back, reach up and over. Switch sides. Again, a little bit of flexibility work while we lower the heart rate. I'm going to ask you to take your hands, place them on your right thigh, take your left leg, lift the left toe, keep the chest long and flat, and then we're going to ease forward, just a little lengthening out through the hamstring muscle group. Switch it. Excellent. Right leg back, keep both feet facing forward, slightly bend the back knee, lengthening through the calf, and add in the chest stretch. One more little stretch and we're coming down on the floor. Excellent. Okay, so, we're going to lie down on your stomach. We're going to reach the hands out. Make sure your water bottle and your towel are out of the way. Bring your hands to shoulder height, roll your thumbs up, leave your feet down. We're going to lift and lower. Hold it up here, little lifts for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Round two, bring it down. These are really good for your postural muscles in the upper back. Thumbs up. Check that your thumb is in line with your shoulder. Leave your feet down. Press your feet into the mat as you squeeze the glutes and lift the thumbs up. First start with the trunk and then try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stretch it back, beautiful. Come on forward. Here we go. Thumbs up, press the feet down, lift, release. It's a great exercise for a strong back and healthy shoulders.
but it's going to backdoor you in a little extra on rectus abdominis and the rectus spinae. Rectus spinae runs either side of your spine. Rectus abdominis is right down the front side. You should be getting a nice little burn here. Come on down, it's time for those bicycles to finish on up. Let's bring it home. Just knowing that when you tune into workouts, you're getting a progressive overload of your muscle groups and you're working them both sides of the body, front and back. It's a nice reason or nice benefit of tuning in regularly. Thirty seconds. You can see the flags at the finish line. Right here. Coming to us. So impressed with how hard you worked today. 15 seconds. Oh, sweet conclusion coming up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, stretch it out. Woo! Go ahead very slowly, sit it on up. Come up into a kneeling position, standing position. So, big reach up. I would like you, oh, that sounds goofy, but give yourself a clap. Confidence, you did it. You got the workout done today. Have a great one. See you next time. Uh, tune in tomorrow for ads at 9am.